What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today, going to be removing the ECU from the Mark IV GTI. It is located behind the wiper cowl. I believe it's right here. Um, actually, it's right here. You can probably see it between the, the vents there. Yes, the engine bay is extremely dirty. Um, I have not even touched the cleaning aspect of this vehicle yet. Want to make sure it is almost 100% um, before I start daily driving this because the GLI, if you guys can see it, nope, that's the Hyundai, it's the neighbors, but the GLI on the other side will be going super camber gang status or selling it. Not sure exactly what I'm going to be doing that just yet. Um, kind of leaning on the fence of the idea on both of them right now, but I'm definitely going to be removing the ECU today. I'm going to send that out to get the immobilizer defeat process uh, done and <coughs> oh, I just swallowed a bug that was amazing and I'm also going to be sending out this wiper cowl not wiper cowl the uh, gauge cluster here from an actual anniversary GTI i uh, going to send that to the same uh, programmer, the guy, his information is right here. If you need any um, programming services, hit him up through Instagram or Facebook. Uh, I'm going to send him the ECU and the cluster itself um, so we can get the mileage programmed correctly in the cluster and the immobilizer defeated on the ECU. That way I can start it without it actually shutting off on me with it installed. So let's get to that right now. The first thing that we have to do is, well that I have to do, is pull out all these stupid leaves. I need to pull off this cap here for the wiper arm, which it just comes right off. Um, I believe this is a 13 or a 14, I'll know here in a second. Um, I need to remove these, that nut there and the one off the other wiper arm. Pull the wiper arm off itself, pull the wiper cowl off, and I believe the ECU is just held in by two uh, harness clamps. It is a 13 millimeter, so I went ahead and just broke those loose. So just remove the nut on both arms. Um, the arms may be on there kind of tight. You may want to uh, um, spray some penetrating lubricant on there to loosen up the fitment between this arm and the nut itself or the stud. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove both nuts now and see how difficult it is to remove those arms. Well, I got the wiper cowl off. Um, it wasn't exactly how I envisioned it coming off because, well, it broke in a couple pieces. Apparently it already had a split in it, um, and the way to take these off is they kind of clip in to the uh, window sill itself. So you got to break away that, that fitting next to the windshield, and then everything else pulls off. But mine had a crack in it right where it meets... Um, where it covers up that ECU, so when I put a little bit of tension into it, it uh, actually broke completely. So that's pretty cheap. I think they're like 40, 50 bucks, if that. They should be cheaper than that. My cabin filter, though, is pretty nasty. I think we uh, need to replace that, and somehow the liner under the dash is coming off. So I'm gonna have to reattach that. But pretty simple to remove this ECU. There's two clips for those uh, two harness pin connectors there. Just pull that off and the ECU literally slides right out. So let's go ahead and pull that out right now. The way these clip connectors come off, every uh, connector on every vehicle is a little differently. So there's a, uh, let me just pull this off here, I'll show you. There's a tab on the side. This little thing goes inside and then unlocks, but there's a little gap in the center here. Just put a flathead there and pull it that way, and it comes all the way out. Do the same thing on the other side. Then your ECU is exposed. It was a little bit more tight fitting than what people explain, but here's my ECU. I'm gonna go ahead and package that up along with this GTI anniversary um, cluster. As you, as you guys know, in one of my previous episodes, I installed this 
and would to turn his car on and the immobilizer kicked on shut the car off within two seconds so sending this off to get it sending the ECU off to get reprogrammed as far as the immobilizer delete will allow me to install this and start the car with any key um, I could have 10 keys if I wanted and it would let me start it because there's no immobilizer I'm also going to be getting this program to the correct mileage um, I got one of the wipers off. I got the driver's side wiper off. The passenger one is giving me a little bit of a difficulty here. So it has a little threaded stud on it. I'll show you on this side. Oops. As you guys can see, those little ribs on it um, allow the wiper arm itself to slide right on and lock into place. And it's, if they've never been replaced, then they're pr pretty much seized on there. So gonna work on that a little bit more but let's get those two boxed up packaged out mailed out and wait for the new software to be upgraded and then we will start this thing with a new cluster programmed correctly I can't wait stay tuned guys